Hi, Dana. Hi, Leslie. <laughs> Is this sector still investable, the retail sector, or are they simply rearranging deck chairs in the Titanic? I think the sector is still investable. I think the changes that are happening create opportunities. And frankly, what used to be amazing is now the new expected. Concept execution and management have always been the key tenants, but now they're powered by something different. Concept is driven by repeat customers, and it comes from product innovation. Innovate the product, it'll get a repeat customer to drive a successful concept. Execution used to come from inventory management, but now it's about speed. Speed of delivery and speed of product development to the shelf. So develop fast, drive the inventory carefully, and you're going to execute well. And then management having a vision. But that vision today is powered by data. Understand, interpret the data to have the vision, and then it's a successful management team. And what I think the names that are interesting, I like brands. I think brands like Coach and what they're doing with adding to their portfolio. What PVH has done with Tommy Hilfiger and Calvin Klein and the global benefits ahead. What Lululemon is doing certainly with their focus on active and the functionality and repeat customer base that they have. What L Brands is recrafting on the Victoria's Secret side with a global presence and frankly with their product assortment which is being enhanced. And then what you have with Off Price, one of the categories that gets traffic all the time like Burlington in that space. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are all stocks that you like. What areas would you stay away from? I and think, name names, please. <laughs> I think certainly the areas that are of concern right now, if you've been stale, if you've been tired, if you haven't been able to adjust and update, if your store base has gotten too big, if the management teams is getting constant turnover, that's where we see certainly some of the recipes for weakness that are out there. And we've had so few companies really go public. We haven't, and we've had strong balance sheet on the, sheets on the retailers. We've seen companies under pressure and where the stocks have, have not done well lately, where all of a sudden, how does, the change, if, how does the change evolve? I mean, we've seen it in some of the watch spaces like Fossil. We've seen it in some of the department stores like Bonton. And we've seen what the new game plan is going to look like for companies like Asina in terms of the change, that's what it's going to look like there. What little known brand or niche will be popular in 10 years? I'm excited about consignment. I think nearly 50% of a woman's closet they typically don't wear. Now all of a sudden if you're going to earn money for those goods that you haven't worn, it's like found money. ThreadUp, TradeZ, The Real Real, and Poshmark, some of the areas of consignment that I'm watching closely. Thank you, Dana. Thank you.